How's it going, guys? My name is Marty, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. So, we are still in a process of escaping Sevastopol Station, and believe it or not, we actually managed to reach an airlock at the end of the previous episode. But the alien jumped on us, they, made, they uh, set up an ambush, they captured us, we set up ourselves free, and we woke up right here in the middle of um, Alien Eggs Nest. Well, either way. Let's continue. I have my flamethrower with me, so I'm, I'm assuming with all of these eggs around us, our main opponent are gonna be face augers. There is a way to kill them with the melee, but I don't want to test that out. I managed to to kill one face auger with uh, with the melee once, and only once, and that was it. I don't want to test it out. I, I'm not sure on the on the mechanics how it works. But judging by the amount of eggs, maybe I'm gonna... Maybe I'm gonna be in a... In a position to... Hey, how did the second guy die? Due to the blast. Oh. Why, what? One, uh, sh one shot, one kill, huh? What I was saying. Still about killing the facehuggers with melee, right? Well, either way... Forget about it. Maybe I should focus on my game. Now judging, I mean, I'm looking on how much eggs are here. All are all around here. There must be a queen on board. There must be. Those eggs doesn't hatch by themselves. As much as I understand biology, or I'm assuming about alien biology. Oh. Come on, come on. Hear you. Wait a second. He's alert. Yeah, sorry. Let's continue. And this is what? 28th episode so far? I was comparing my my gameplay style with, with the gameplay style of other YouTubers. And I was like, I was... My main question was why my game is... Um, duration of my games is um, longer than other youtubers you know i was making comparison of it out of it i'm and i figured out that i'm playing slowly i'm playing on harder difficulty and i'm trying to show you as much as possible of a game you know so you can be so you can dive into the game sound, graphics, events, and that takes sometimes more time than usual. I, I just I don't just run through a through a corridors, hallways, you know. I pay attention to the details. Maybe that could be a good thing. I mean, that was the main reason why I started this channel. Kinda the main reason. And I was looking some of the gameplay so far. Other YouTubers! I always didn't love the fact that I can hear a game. I can only hear hear him, but I want to s hear a game, okay? I'm talking about, you know, business comparisons, you know, benchmarks and everything while the whole station is burning. Hey, now, now is not the time for that. I know, I know. But that's what I discovered. Whoa. <laughs> Good timing. I'm only worried currently. Are we gonna have enough flamethrower fuel? We have revolver ammo, shotgun shells, flares, and that's it. Now we are loaded with ammunition currently. Oh! Jesus. I was like, this. Sounds like it's Just coming closer? Jesus Christ! What was that? It wasn't a train, right? Maybe it was. I don't know. Some carts of some sort. Okay, I need to go... There. Yeah. 
hands. Now that was a pure luck. That was a fucking pure luck. I fell down into this hole. I pressed crouch while well, it was too late, but... Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Another train? <laughs> so this is probably a transit system. <laughs> well. I was expecting a train, but you know. Well, either way. Now. One more? I mean, the train is traveling so fast, like you can can't even hear it coming. Okay, wait a second. A lot of flares. Wait, the shaft. Does it list this somewhere? Should they go in? Oh, yeah. Is it from behind? Is it coming from behind? Oh. Why did I even enter here now? <laughs> that wasn't a smart idea. At least, can I get something out of this? One more, one more guy coming. I saw it there. Should I even try to shoot him? I mean, shoot him, flame him. Maybe while, while they are on one pile, huh? Why not? This guy's still alive. Hey, that's not a... F Terminator. We need to go through here. I, maybe not... We, do, we don't need to go, but we can go. But we're gonna end up somewhere. Elevator. Oh boy. Hold on, yeah. Maybe I should. Open it. What the? Where is it? Climb. I can climb up only down, which means. Eh. I should be able to get in here, right? Or maybe release some brakes or shoot brakes. What? Okay, come on, engineering mind. Think of something. What was the point of all of this? Oh, I need to go down but my character just stepped on the elevator <laughs> oh boy <laughs> disaster waiting to happen Come on, Elaine. I don't want to lose you. We're being dragged down from the best pole. The gravitational pull has twisted the ring and we can't get free from the station. What do you need me to do? Get up the airlock and EVA over to the maintenance platform. There are explosive bolts on the emergency release. Hurry! The is going fast. Won't let you down. Hey! Please wait, for what? For station to fall? Okay, I'm gonna go without saving. Oh, I could use a medkit. We actually lost health from all these accidents. But I was thinking, for you guys who don't know, the Sevastopol is um, fully down to a gas giant. So we're kind of, uh, you know, we don't have that much time. 
And I could use a medkit now. That's good. Which means we are invincible. Okay. Oh my god, what a what a nasty storm of debris storm. This is incredible, we are currently on a falling station and I'm just enjoying every every second of it. Imagine falling from a planet with a station. I mean I love space, that's why it's so fascinating for me. As I mentioned it every time. Come on. Walk the block, come on. Eh. I'm kind of surprised that everything is still kind of working. It's a good station, probably. I now I'm kind of losing the feeling, in my opinion, that we could actually see a alien queen. I would like to experience that, but I'm not that sure anymore. What do you think? Give me your comment b before the end. Is there a queen on board? But I don't think so. I mean... I don't think so, because it didn't arrive with the ship, but also from where all of those eggs came from. It, the eggs didn't board itself on a, on a station, right? the wires, huh? Would that help? Wait. Maybe from the other side. Is it a control panel? Yeah. Yes. One. Yeah. Get me out. Come on. That looks like a supernova. Not a sun. I read the keycard panel or something, right? I didn't put a key. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I don't have a flamethrower now. We've been spared. Look at the whole station behind us. Oh, no time to be impressed okay that's it no okay before he comes arise go no go no. use danger we're just talking clap release and activation claps will separate in t minus five minutes okay five minutes this is an emergency. Okay, activate uh, one. There's a sequence, right? Screw it faster. I'm kind of surprised that she actually knows how to do everything.
third one. Prime and ready. Perfect time for coffee. What the? Hold on. Oh boy. What just happened? <laughs> I know the station got destroyed, but we got to the bridge. Relaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. We were actually hooked on that Nostromo ship, right? And we detached the Nostromo from the station. Was expecting. I was expecting for us to go back to the station and then go th through a station. And to the boarding deck or, you know, boarding bridge or something similar. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's no queen then. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hello, doctor? Anyone? I want to get off, get out from this suit. Not from, from out of this suit. That was it. I mean, we saw the destruction of a station. That's one thing. That's good, but uh, totally unexpected. I should be able to. Come on. Berlaine? Why is she not responding? And why are we still in a suit? Something fishy about this. What, two of them? No, just one. Let's go back, let's go back. Go back, go back, go back. Right? I, s I pressed two times right. I pressed right. I oh my god. Mm. I pressed right. It's a slow mo footage for you. I pressed right. The letters. Berlain, the I'm on my way up to the bridge. Disappeared and he showed me one more time pressed right and pressed right. Okay. Okay. Berlaine? There's no Berlaine on board, just me. Hello. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, one more down. Move down. Okay. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't, you see, it didn't register now. Oh, with this down number, uh, down Muki, it also didn't, um, didn't, um, register Okay, 
this is an airlock. We probably been shot in, shot in space. Oh my God! Everybody, everybody's dead. Aliens, humans, us. And we just vanished into the darkness of nothingness. Dedicated to the memory of our friend and colleague Simon Franco from 78 to 214. Young lad. So this is it. This is alien isolation. We finally finished it. Before I say anything, what do you think about the whole game? I know if you're an alien fan, but think objectively. You might have the different experience than I. You will have different experience from me. Because I played the game, you watch the game. You have no idea on from on for on what I've been been through with this game. Okay, let's start with my opinion about the game, my review of it. First of all, amazing graphics. I mean, I mean amazing graphics. I like the they nailed the developers nailed on uh, design that's the first thing the most the second thing i love the most is the lightning it's a soft bright not bright it's a soft uh, lightning like a feather you know kind of it has, like it contains mist it's easy to look at it it's like the game of light and shadows like in the in the old movies i love the graphics Unbelievably, I love the design of it and they just nailed it. Second thing that I love about this game, unbelievable amount of content. They covered almost everything, almost everything. Aliens, uh, Apollo, you know, the main computer, main mainframe, the main software, Android, humans. Um, a lot of um, information to find out about what was happening with our mother and a lot of uh, audio files huge levels extremely long campaign unbelievable experience the third thing sound i love it yep overall the whole ambience it was like a real alien ambience it's kind of hard to grasp all of the facts now because we were we were playing this game for like two months maybe more so I'm just trying to recall all of the information. And I don't I don't want to forget anything. I mean overall I had a blast with it. Amazing experience. I learned a lot. I experienced a lot. And that's kinda it. I mean the spacewalks was also I mean the game has a variety of uh, content. We were playing in ventilations, we were playing we were doing spacewalk. We were actually on another planet in that jockey mission. Now, let's go to cons. If I forgot something, I will let you know at the end of the video. If I, if I forgot to say something. So, cons for me, the biggest and the most annoying thing was the concept of alien AI and how the game was, let's say, constructed. Now, alien can reach you wherever he wants. If you make a uh, a loud sound he can jump from every vent possible it doesn't matter on on his location on the current level or building or map i remember we, we were running through two or three rooms the guy was behind us he jumped in a vent immediately one second later he was in front of us jumping through a vent it, the ai was kind of buggy on this sort of stuff it was unreal I lost a lot of time playing this game. I died a lot. You didn't see the half of it because I didn't put it in episodes. And without that part, episodes were also already sometimes too long. But okay. Now the most important thing for me was the sense of when you make a progression, every single time you make a simple progress, alien finds a way to kill you. 
And I'm standing with that statement responsibly. Every time we made a simple progress, we opened their lock or something, the game found a way to raise that feeling of a progress. It raised. And, we, and you, when you respond, there was no alien. It didn't make any sense. Till this day, I don't still, I can, still can't believe that that the game was built on a, such a, you know, concept. Play by play by the game. Play with your play it by yourself. Try it. You'll see. Well, the other thing that got me annoyed is that you could shoot alien as much as you like. I hit him in the head five times with a revolver with the magnum in one of the room. He didn't die. Bullets just go through him. That's not good for any game. I don't care on on the story on on the who the game is about. If I put a five rounds in your skull, you need to be dead. Or if I make a shotgun, a shotgun. If I hit you with a shotgun, you know, it decide of your head from up close. I don't care how. Th strong you are i mean okay that was a statement on hulk it won't work okay but on alien he's a living creature the same as a predator he can be killed you know you can hit the alien with the with the five rounds of shotgun uh, 10 rounds of magnum in this game he will just keep charging on you but if you just you know pop a little flamethrower fire on him he's running away He's scared of fire, like any every animal is. There was a saying one time in the game. I remember that. But it didn't make any sense. I mean, okay, I understand. I mean, I can't understand. I can't understand why developers made it like that. Why? You're loaded with ammo. And you can't kill an alien. You're, you're preserving your ammunition. Just for humans. And that's it. We reach an ending, or at least I felt like it's an ending for about 8 times. You know, you reach an airlock, game sets you back 10 steps back. You know, you make one, you make one step front, 2 steps back. I thought the game was done for like... 7 or 8 times, I'm telling you. It was annoying. You know? You need to reach the airlock, you're doing your best, you have reached the airlock, yes, I'm finally out, yeah, I will make it. No, nope. go back to the, to the start line and go, go, go do the same shit all over again. Or similar thing. Okay, I passed that once, twice, three times, fourth, fifth time. By the, by the sixth time, it was annoying, you know? Escape, you're on, you're on a brink of an escape. I reached the handle. The game pulls you back. No. Not today. Go back one more time. Go play again. Something else. Some some different things happen. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I didn't make this up. It was an obvious. We, we were trying to escape, what, two or three times? By an airlock. But first time, that guy blew up a station and that part of an uh, airlock or whatever. Just, you know, um... Flow away into space. I love the theme. I love the game. I love the graphics. I love the, the the idea, everything, the universe, the story, the lore of the game. I love it. But that poor poor AI implementation in some game concepts that that ruined my experience. I mean, when I think about what do I think about this game, the first things that comes to my mind are the bad things. I don't like that fact. But it, it is kind of, it is like, it, it, it is what it is, you know? A forced implementation of certain concept. That's the thing. From my overall experience, the, the game's rating one, one from one to five is, my God, if I, if I give it a three, I would lie. I had to give it a two. Just because of this... AI, I had, um, 
I did. I didn't. Sometimes I didn't have fun playing this. I'll say that. Only because of that. I could give a game a rating of three just because of the graphics and experience. If I look at from that part, okay, maybe I can divide now graphics and overall, you know, ambience, atmosphere. Four out of five. Gaming experience and. Feeling playing these 2 out of 5. Now this is the end of my review. Now I jumped to watch the IGN review because I was interested on... Did they made a review of the game? And the guy was talking about the same thing, the things that I am talking right now. He died a million times. He making a progress, the game pulls you back. It didn't, some things didn't just make sense to him and I, and I went down to the comment section and he got so much hate <laughs> from some of the guys oh you you don't know how to play you need to play it like this you need to play stealthy you can do it. I mean everyone has the right of its own of on its own opinion I didn't have fun playing this game that's why it took so long to probably finish it because I didn't want to jump in but I had to jump in because I was curious about the ending of the game and some of you guys were also watching it so I have an obligation from, from that side to finish the game I was always jumping in the game just because of the atmosphere and the feeling the game m made me feel, you know the sound, the, you know, slow walking and just because of that and when the nonsense start again it just It wasn't, it, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy in some of the episodes, trust me. I mean, the, uh, because I was, maybe I was just, just disappointed of the, after the fact that I had to play a certain level on a certain way. And that's it. No matter how skilled you are, you have to play it like that or you won't go through that section. That's not fun when you're forced. You want to play a game, but you're forced just to play it from A to B. You need to play it, you know, divided by C so you can get D, and that's it. I don't like the fact that I get this this game rating of two, but this is what it is. What it is. We need to say goodbye to our guest giant. I love this photo. I mean, scene. I don't want to. Uninstall good game just because of that I'm space and space team. Well, either way, I'm not gonna uh, spend your time anymore. So this is gonna be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.